You don't love that white woman because you love her. You love her because you hate black people. And that is not love at all. You're not picking her because you love her. You're picking her because you hate yourself. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution in today's video we're going to be talking about colorism I just want to say that we are speaking about our personal experiences we cannot speak for everyone who looks like us everyone who has our shade we cannot speak for the whole entire community so I just want to put that out there if you want to share your side then please do comment down below and let's engage in conversation in the comments so the next topic I want to go into with uh, relating to colorism is dating have you guys felt the effects of colorism in your dating lives or not even if not in your dating lives but just you know as you see things in the world My brother has like these two friends who are like, coons and you know just to say for the coons and they were a little bit like yeah like I wouldn't date a girl that's darker than me and they're like they're like lighter than I am and I'm like first of all like you're like two feet tall and ugly but um, second of all like that's really you know colorist and I just feel like you have to have self-acceptance because, again, like they're not like anyone I would want today, but if that was the case, you have to really ask yourself, like, do you want to be with the person who even thinks like that? Mm -hmm. Who has that colorist, we're back in the 1950s mindset. Like, I feel like we're in 2021 now. Black people need to be on the come up. We need to be, again, growing together and taking out all these white supremacist mindsets. So if that's the mindset that someone has, like, I'm not trying to be feeding over you. Like, you could find the person that you, that you want. And one of them is a little white girl now, so he, you know, he found his dream girl, he, he golden. Another thing about that is like, it's so true because that person, if you end up having a relationship with them and marry them, that's the father of your kid. Which means that your kid, if they come out having your skin tone close to yours, he's going to have a comment. He's going to say something that is going to teach that child that you are not beautiful enough. Or, you know, because you know how black families are you might have one really light skinned kid and a really dark skinned one and you might find that he speaks to the lighter skinned one in a certain way with like compliments that the darker one doesn't tend to get you are a black person telling yourself that i don't date black people you really need to look into yourself and why you have that belief don't get me wrong i'm not going to stand here and say uh, interracial ha interracial dating should not happen love is love love whoever you want to love however if you are picking a person of a different race because you are anti-black, because you are trying to avoid black features or black characteristics, you don't love that white woman because you love her. You love her because you hate black people. And that is not love at all. You're not picking her because you love her. You're picking her because you hate yourself. And when you have kids with that white woman, your kids are not going to be white. They're going to be part white, part black. They're definitely going to be browner than her maybe lighter than you depending on where you stand <laughs> but that white woman cannot teach black kids how to love their blackness you as the black parent in that union need to teach those kids how to love themselves and how are you going to do that if you hate yourself in the first place so let's look into the reason why we do things leading me to a good question preference versus colorism where people are like hey man i'm just attracted to lighter skinned women it's my preference i'm not colorist what do you guys think about that? Do you think that um, people who have a preference for um, lighter skin women is that? <laughs> is it a preference? I like, feel like that stuff to me is like borderlining fetishizing. Like I feel like to me, red flags when I'm talking to a guy, if anything starts coming out of his mouth, like light skin, whatever, I'm like, mm, like if that's the only reason you're talking to me, then like I, I don't want anything to do with you because I feel like you're just like again it's like fetishizing and that's not cute like I'm not gonna be with someone that you're telling me you only like my skin when like oh, okay like that's not I don't know like that's just not attractive to me and I think again like it's very it's a very closed-minded and you know you can say it's your preference but I feel like you know obviously like you gotta be attracted to somebody to like them, but it's like if you're telling me your your preference is only, you know, light skinned women or, or white women or whatever it is, I feel like you need to start looking at like whatever internal things that is. Like, especially when it's a lot of the times for me, like when I've been hit on in those kind of manners, it's coming from like a, a brown skin or like a darker skinned man. And I'm like, 
you know, your mama is dark, like you right. don't love your mama, like you you don't think your sisters are beautiful, like you don't love yourself, apparently. right? You don't like, love yourself, like I really don't understand. Like I feel like they don't see how it's a problem, even if they're saying it's just a preference. Like you don't understand, like what's wrong with having like that preference, and even coming from the other side of it, like I know, like light-skinned women who are constantly like oh i have to be with like a dark-skinned man like a and i'm like you know like the fetishizing like it's not cute like right. you don't see what like what the problem is yeah. with that yeah, <laughs> i feel like people like if you're only going after someone because they're light-skinned it's not a preference like no one's born like i came out the womb and I, right. god told me when i was in the womb that i need a light-skinned woman right, right? <laughs> like, he prayed over the best thing. like no that is not happening so if you're definitely like only going after you know a certain type of woman it's because you've been brainwashed by the media white people have been playing into your head that whatever is white or whatever is closest to white is right and you believe them and i just feel like if you're going to believe white people over your own people again like we don't need you like Woo! heard that i think it's important to look into your preference and you need to understand that the root of your preference is colorism you know because you need to stop and ask yourself why is that what you prefer and again relating back to my experience when i felt more beautiful being lighter than anything else did my face change no did my features change no my hair is always popping <laughs> meaning the only thing that changed was the color of my skin and that made me feel less beautiful that is colorism and i feel like black people are so diverse like i've you know met light-skinned people who have like the widest noses i've ever seen and then black people who have small noses and like vice versa mm -hmm. like black people light skin brown skin dark skin are so diverse so for you to just say that you only like light-skinned women when they can come in so many different forms mm -hmm. like you're just just say that you don't like dark-skinned women and let's go on with our lives like don't say it's a preface like just tell the truth I think something else that has been really frustrating with, um, you know, dating, just constantly hearing black men either say, I don't date black women, or I only date light-skinned black women. Honestly, unless I'm just not paying attention, I do not see white men saying, I don't date white women. I don't see Asians right. saying, I don't date Asians. Right. I don't see Indians saying, I don't date Indians. I'm only seeing black people saying, I don't date black people and then going on the internet on Beyonce's internet and saying because they're loud and they're this and they're that and it's like if you are putting that out there in the world as a black man these other races are receiving that and they're like hey man they won't even date their own people and I've actually I actually read a story where dark skin uh, dark skin women felt that they had to date white people because white people were the only ones who would accept it because in the black community, nobody found them to be beautiful. Because again, dark skin features, you, you tend to be masculinated. I don't know if that's a word, y'all, but they masculinize you. That's the word. <laughs> Sounds right. They masculinate you. <laughs> you know, um, you're louder, you're ghetto, you're this, you're that. And, and like you're saying, it's so messed up because they say the same thing about wanting to date white people. It's like, yeah, you know, white women just like make me a sandwich anytime I want and they take your BS. First of all, you're toxic and you need to right. Right. Like, if that's what you're looking for. Like, you can't cook a meal. If you can't make a sandwich. You know? And you don't need a woman. <laughs> what I'm hearing from that is that you know that black women are strong, are independent, and are not going to let you walk all over us. So it's messed up that you even want that, but it is frustrating to see black men constantly put that out there for other people to see, and not just other people, but for us to receive. The, my brother's friend who made those comments, when my brother asked them like why, they basically went to stereotypes like, mm. Dark women are loud, or black women are this, or black women are so it's like, again, like you're listening to the white man's propaganda. Exactly. So I feel like they need to be, at that point, you just need to be re-educated. I don't know if we need to start having like camps for black people who don't like themselves <laughs> or something, but yeah. I feel like going off of what you just said, like, I feel like that plays into like, you know, people always say like good stereotypes. And in my head, like, I feel like there, there's no such thing as like a good stereotype because nobody wants to be stereotyped because you, you, they're putting an expectation on you that mm -hmm. doesn't exist. So I feel like, you know, in my own dating life, I have felt like those, oh, you're light skin, you're supposed to, you know, be like all docile and sweet. And, and that's, not my, that's not my that's not my personality. Right? Right? right, I'm like, you know, that's <laughs> not my personality. So it's like, you know, if you thought just because I was light skin that that means you're just gonna like walk all over me mm -hmm. and whatever, like, 
that's not like what you're gonna get with me and um I feel like you know you mentioned it earlier and it made me think of that Kodak video and everyone's always talking about and it's like you know yes he's saying he prefers light-skinned women but I'm like if you're listening to the reasoning he's like oh because they're easily manipulated and they're soft and they're and I'm like whoa wait 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 like, like he literally just I'm like and that's not a compliment <laughs> I was like early in the video he was like how he was like oh why aren't you like dark-skinned people he's like oh we gotta like first of all you talk about yourself right, like, I'm like, he, 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 he said we too yeah he literally shit on all shades of black people in the same video he's like you're all ugly but i'll take you though <laughs> Black, like dark skinned men definitely face colorism as well. But like you said, like the darker you are, the more like people emasculate you. So for them, it's like, yeah, you're dark, but it's acceptable because you're a man. And yeah, like, even though like, yeah, again, like yeah. having dark skin has always been seen as a negative thing. Like the first movies to have black people in them had dark skinned men in them and light skinned women. You know what I mean? Like black, like blackness, like dark skinnedness on men is always acceptable. People still might make fun of you, but it's like, you're gonna see yourself in the media, you're gonna see, we know who's in the music videos. Like this album, right? Right. Like, it's just if you're like watching this. Like the dark skin is <laughs> you said Burna, you said Idris. Look, yeah. I'll take them both. Who else? I'll, <laughs> I can get them both. I want right. <laughs> And I'm quick. Shut up. So don't get comfortable. Okay. Heard you. But yeah, no, I definitely agree. I think that black men, um, of course, do face colorism too, but I think that it's actually funny because it's flipped, huh? Yeah. Because for women, being light skinned is like the move, but for men, being light skinned makes you. It's interesting because the same stereotype Pretty exists. <laughs> you know? it's, it's the same stereotype. Ultimately, lighter skinned people are seen as soft, as gentle, as kind, as well behaved, as everything good. And that same stereotype exists for men too. And that's why lighter skinned men are teased because they're seen as not as strong. However, the darker you are, the more aggressive, the stronger you are, the same thing exists for women and for men. So it, it does the same thing except it's flipped. And I feel like. Like for, it's just so weird for guys because like you said like they have like the you're soft but like because you're light you're still like so good looking yeah so good looking right. so good but that black man like you're dark but you're strong who right. want a nice strong like you would like they just have, not they don't they don't have it easy because life is hard out here for us black people yeah but like they just have it on a it's just you know there's like in terms this. of attraction if you're looking at it just there like it's they don't have it as hard as women yeah do. yeah because i feel yeah. like you know with light-skinned men, there's still gonna be someone trying to date them. When I see yeah. dark-skinned men, you know, the white girl's still gonna try to snatch you up. Like, you know, you're fine, but like... Right. I just think that, you know, the reality is, as black people, most of us have internalized some kind of colorist attitude or racist um, attitude. And by racist, I mean things that they've projected onto us. And maybe because our parents were saying it or when we went to school or whatever. and. It is so important, guys. We need to get free. And to get free is not just going to happen. It means every day you need to wrestle with yourself. It means when you see yourself, if you're darker skin and you're like, I'm not beautiful because I'm not, I'm not light, it means you have to talk to yourself every single time, every single day. Control the media that you watch. Get educated, like you said, because it's not just going to happen. The media is not going to do it for you. Schools are not going to do it for you. Your parents are not going to do it for you. People in the dating field are not going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. That is the responsibility for every single one of us now. Because right now the media is showing us um, women who look a certain way, but one day you're gonna be in the media. One day you're gonna be the producer. You're gonna be the director. You're gonna be the musician. You're gonna be the athlete. It's going to be you one day. And you decide what little boys and little girls get to see growing up. However, if you don't break free, you're just going to continue to perpetuate a very damaging stereotype and continue to break black people apart. We need to get free. There's nothing wrong with blackness. There is nothing wrong with being black. There's nothing wrong with being dark. There's nothing wrong with being light. Black is beautiful in every single range, in every single skin tone. And that's really my final thoughts on this topic. Black is beautiful, love all black people. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any closing closing speeches or remarks? Um, it's beautiful. Right. <laughs> um, I just have to say, like, I really agree with everything you said. Um, like Bree said, it's very beautifully put. And just going back to, like, you have to love yourself first at the end of the day. And, like, even if, even if it takes you doing self-affirmations every morning so you can get out the door, like if that's what it takes, that's what you're gonna have to do because being, being an agent of white supremacy is not cute, Ooh. especially in 2021.
Ooh. Like it's definitely, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So if you could return it <laughs> <laughs> back to 1864, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, just love yourself because black, black people are dope, black people are awesome. And it's you not loving yourself and you not loving other black people simply because of their skin tone is really setting us back in a time where we, we need to move forward. Mm -hmm. I agree. And with what you said about like, the media like stop looking to the media for how you're supposed to look because right now we're living in an age where white people are breaking their backs bending over backwards trying to look like us black fishing and all this crap that they're doing now you know so i feel like at the end of the day you know they can try to make all of our skin tones and, and hairstyles and whatever into trends but they're just you know they're never gonna have it it's not it's not it you got it we got it so you know like you said like you just have to love yourself and and not look for that outside validation and if you don't like what you're seeing in the media you know you grow up and you change it you be what you wanted to see growing up you be the person that you wanted to look at the tv or look in the magazine and look in the newspaper and say that's someone that looks like me that's someone that i can look up to that's someone i can relate to okay well that's it for today guys i hope you liked this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos if you want to see more videos with brie and joanne comment down below let us know and please go follow them on social media continue the conversation in the comments peace and love guys stay black stay beautiful